What up, Woodies? Welcome back to another episode of Vaporwood. Today, we're going through another hardware review. We are going to take a look at the Snow Wolf Mini. What up, YouTube? All right, folks, welcome back to another episode of Vaporwood. Pleasure to be with you. Thank you so much for tuning in today, taking a look at the Snow Wolf Mini. I want to give a big shout out to Asmodus for sending this out for review. Without further ado, let's go down. Let's go up close. Let's get up in them guts of the Snow Wolf Mini. All right, guys, here we are up close with the Snow Wolf Mini 75 watt temperature control device. This is the box that comes in. It's got a reflective wolf on there. Got a few specs about the device on the back. Open the box. You got a USB cable for charging. This does have USB charging. You got a little warranty card, tells you about their 90 day warranty. Then you have your instruction manual, which is fold out style instruction manual. Definitely read that so you can know all about the functions and features of the device. And here it is, star of the show. The Snow Wolf Mini 75 watt. You see it's got the little Vaporwood sticker on there. Had to jazz it up just a little bit. Here's the side with your buttons. This is your battery door. There's the bottom, there's your USB port for charging. You see it's got some battery venting in here as well. This is your 510 connection. It is spring loaded. I'm going to mention this right now, the battery door does have some play in it. I know I mentioned it in the cons. The battery door has some play. Gets on my nerves just a little bit, but it's just, you see it. It's just a tiny little bit of play in the battery door. Let's pop that open. There's your single 18650. Nice and clean and contained. And here's some venting for the chip. And before we get into the menu system and all that, I do want to talk about this finish. As you can see, it's a fingerprint magnet all the way all around it. Even on the, the stainless steel parts, even on the laser etched wolf, there's just fingerprints all over this thing. But let's get right to it. It is a five click on device. Lysimo Snow Wolf. Here, here's your screen. Pretty easy to understand. Over here you have your wattage. You got your voltage up here in smaller print. And then your resistance over here. Down here is your mode. Currently I am in power mode. This does do temperature control for NI200 and titanium wire. And then these are your plus and minus buttons for adjusting your wattage or temperature or whatever mode you're in. They're very clicky, very solid as well as the fire button very solid oh I just shut it off one two three four five okay to switch between modes you will hold both the plus and minus buttons at the same time and it will take you to this screen where you can select nickel 200 and I 200 wire or titanium wire and then you will be in temperature mode where you can adjust your temperature with the plus and minus buttons. Now when you screw an atomizer on here, when you're in temperature mode, when you screw an atomizer on here, so you're going to want to hit the minus button and the fire button to set the resistance of your atomizer and lock it. So that is how you do the resistance lock, minus and fire button. It'll check the resistance and lock it. That's pretty much it for the menu and everything on there. There's no uh, there's no extra menus to go in or settings to change. It's pretty much all you get. It is a pretty straightforward, easy to use device. All right, that's pretty much it for the up close section, guys. Let's go ahead, back out, get the pros and cons, get the final thoughts, and get on out of here. Well, all right, folks, there you have it. The up close, the ins and outs, the guts of the Snow Wolf Mini. Let's get right to it. Let's hit those pros and cons. First pro. First pro for me is definitely the fit and finish. I like the way it looks. It looks very classy. It's very sleek, streamlined, very simple. I like the laser etched wolf on there. I know it's hard to see in the camera, but it is there. It's pretty sweet. You saw it in the up close. Second pro. The buttons are very clicky. 
I will give it that. They're very nice and very clicky. And there is no button rattle. Third Pro. And the third Pro, the last Pro for me, all my devices sit flush on the Snow Wolf Mini. And they look pretty good too, but all of my devices sit flush. First con. The first con for me is this battery door. I would have shown this in the up close, but we'll talk about it now too. This battery door wiggles around all over the place. There's just a bit of play in there, and that just gets on my nerves of OCD issue. Second con, this thing doesn't really handle heat very well, I've noticed. With low ohm builds, pushing this thing at the 75 watts, at maxed out. Um, I get a high temperature warning all the time, like every, I don't know, I'd say four or five hits or so. It says high temp and it won't fire when I go to hit the device. So I don't know what's up with that. It, like I said, it just gives me a high temperature warning like it's too hot. And the mod always feels warm. The mod gets very, very warm. So that's definitely a con in my book. All right, you guys, you know what time it is. Let's get them cheesy graphics out. It's time for that final thoughts. Final thoughts on the Snow Wolf Mini. While I like the fit and finish, I like the idea of it. It's a small carry around device. For the way I vape, um, I don't like this device at all. I get that high temperature warning all the time. And I have to wait for it to cool down a bit to be able to use the device again. And like I said, that's with pushing it at 75 watts with a, um, this is a 0.5 build on here. It is a 24 gauge, 9 wrap, 0.5 build. So I guess that is, it's going to get a little warm, but I don't know why I'm getting that high temperature warning all the time. And it's just, it's annoying is really what it is. It's annoying. And if you decide to purchase one of these, you might as well purchase some kind of rag to carry around with you at all times because this entire thing, I will have shown in the up close, the, the, all the finish all the way around, even on the stainless steel section here, um, all of this is all a fingerprint magnet. So you will be constantly wiping this down, um, especially you OCD people out there you're going to be wiping this thing down all the time. Now, if you are interested in checking this one out, they are going for $58.95 on elementvape.com. There will be a link in the description down below where you can go check it out for yourself. Um, it's not getting a recommendation from me. I don't like it. I don't think it performs the way it should, but it's not getting my recommendation. I really, I don't like it. I get that high temperature warning all the time and have to wait for it to cool down, which is a big annoyance in my opinion. $58.95 isn't a bad price for a 75 watt device. Like I said, it is single 18650. So especially pushing it at 75 watts, battery life is not going to be great. So definitely you're going to have to carry some batteries in your pocket if you decide to pick this up. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Once again, elementvape.com. You can pick up the Snow Wolf Mini for $58.95. And they have a few different color options too. Um, looks like black and purple and Tiffany blue. There's a few different color options on there if you want to check it out. Link will be in the description down below. No, all right, folks, that's all I got for you today. If you like what you saw tonight, be sure to click the thumbs up or give it a like down below. Also, if you are on a laptop or a desktop computer, you'll see that little vapor wood button over here. You can click that, get subscribed up, stay up to date with the videos and the giveaways and all that good stuff when I post it. If you are on a mobile device, just scroll down a little bit underneath the video, click that subscribe button, and same thing for you. You'll be able to stay up to date with the videos when I post them. And if you like social networking, definitely hop on over, check out myvaporium.net. It's a social network made for and by vapors. We got some really cool live Google Hangout rooms that are set up over there. You can go video chat with people. It's a really good time. My recommendation though, if you have any anything at all to do that day, get it done before you go in there because you will you won't leave. You you will ignore life for a while hanging out in the G spot. So be careful and um, be careful and and G spot responsibly. But definitely hop on over, check out myvaporium.net, see what you've been missing, and get signed up. And as always, guys, keep chasing those clouds, my friends. Live long and vapor.